Hi everyone, it's Georgia down in Australia and welcome to the introduction to the Advent event 2023. Now this year we're doing something a little bit different. Past years we have created an art journal and have art journaled every day through Advent. Now I've made one of those journals three years in a row so I'm kind of at the point of oh, I've got nothing. <laughs> not, not in a bad way but when you've arted the same sort of themes over and over you sort of get to a point of saying well I, what can I do this year that's actually going to be useful and making another art journal would really just be arting for the sake of doing the art and that's not what the advent event is about so this year we're going to simplify we're going to take a bit of a different approach and we're going to create something that even though you might need a little bit of time to create the notebook, the everyday activities through the Advent event will be less stressful perhaps for some of you, uh, less time consuming than previous years. So this is what we're doing. Some of you may have watched and participated in the video tutorial that I made a little while back. This simple little pocket notebook that was made out of one sheet of scrapbooking paper and decorated. Now I'm going to post the link to that tutorial in the description below so you can hop over and watch that and follow along to make this thing. If I was to use this for the advent event I would not have enough pockets because it only has two, four, six eight pockets. Now this year Advent begins on the 3rd of December so I'm going to need 21 pockets <laughs> doing the maths. Um, I'm laughing because there was a little bit of a thing with my parish art group where we created these, we made these little notebooks and I went oh no we don't have enough pockets and when I sat down afterwards and counted actually we do have enough pockets I can't count. So what I want you to do is make one of these books minus the decorations just the plain little notebook and I want you to do that three times so you're basically going to make three of these books and then you are going to stick them back to back so where you have I haven't got one unfinished here to show you but it's kind of self-explanatory I think where you have let's take this one here the back of one before you before you Put your rings through of course so before rings decorations anything you have the back of one book you're going to get your other book and you're going to stick these together and then you're going to do the same thing with the third one so you're going to have this little book here extended three times as long so that you have 24 pockets and that is going to bring us all the way through advent and leave us with a double page at the end for christmas now once you've done that then you can put your rings through your ribbons your decorating of the cover everything now just be warned because it is so thick it's going to be very difficult to use jump rings just threading them through the spine is going to be really hard i managed to get one through the top hole but the bottom hole because it is a lot thicker at the bottom simply because of the fact that it has the pockets so it's really twice the thickness of the top could not get a jump ring through that without damaging the book so i've made a little loop out of it's kind of like a leather strap that's used in jewelry making that i picked up at somewhere that i won't name because i don't like this sh that shop <laughs> but i made a little loop out of that and just used that you need to be very careful when you're making this loop that you don't do it too tight because you need to be able to open your pages so check them before you do up your knots make sure you can flip through your book with the pages all open now once you have done that you also need to make some sort of inserts now it's up to you what you put in them but it's going to need to be something obviously that fits that's not too big and that you can art on now I cut out some very simple tags. I used a die to do this, but you could cut them by hand. Some tags out of a manila folder. So they're just plain cream color. And I, my die was a little bit too long, so I cut them shorter so that they fit like this. I punched holes in them. I will eventually tie bits of string through them so that when this book is completed, at the top I'll have all these messy, shabby, bits of yarn and string and ribbon sticking up the top. 
but I'm not going to do that until after I have actually arted the tags because I don't know how messy I'm going to get. So every single pocket will have a little tag inside it ready to go waiting for that particular day in Advent when we will spend some time with the scripture and I won't go too much into it right now because that's for later on but what I am going to suggest that you do will be a little bit different from past years so it will not be as intense as my usual Advent event when we had this huge uh, journaling pages to do every single day and some of you found that really overwhelming I know I found it overwhelming and some days I actually have blank pages in my journals it will not be as intense but it will be a commitment you do need to be able to say okay I will give say 10 minutes of every single day to do this and this is a talk that I actually had with the kids in my parish art group when they were wondering okay are we going to do this and I said, you know, do you have a commitment time, that 10 minutes every day? And they were a bit, they were a bit hesitant. And I said, okay, well, hands up who spends time every day on YouTube? And we had the hands, you know, who spends time on social media? Who spends, who spends time fighting with your brother and sister? Who spends time watching TV? And, you know, for all the different questions that I came up with, hands went up. And I said, okay, well, imagine this. And I say this to you. Imagine if you were to take some of that time, put it aside and do this instead. Now, some of you might be going, hey, that sounds like the Creative Lent Project. Yeah, when we sort of go through, we go through Lent and we give up stuff or we do something special, we put some time aside to be intentional. Now, what if we did that for Advent as well? Just putting that out there. So this is a commitment that you will need to spend a little bit of time every day, but it will not be as huge as previous years. I will go into what we're doing a little bit in more detail later on as we get closer to Advent but I just thought I would give you a heads up now two and a half weeks before we start so that you all have time to create your little book if you don't have time to decorate it just yet don't worry not to worry you can do that that could be your Christmas activity you can do that during the Christmas season but do have your little book prepared and have your tags and here's a little thought if making the book is a little bit too intense and time consuming or you just can't do it right now just make the tags make yourself 24 tags punch holes in them and once you're finished you can bind them up with a jump ring or a ribbon and you can have a little tag sort of thing kind of like we did for my grateful heart when we just had tags every day through the challenge you could do this 24 tags of sorry 24 21 something you could make this the tags of advent so that's two different options for you so down in the description below will be the link to the my tutorial to create this little booklet make three of them stick them all together and fill the pockets with tags and then you're ready to get started on this year's advent event thanks very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye